वेलकाम एवरी ओन टू आवर चैनल मैथामेटिक्स पाठशाला दिस इज एनदार सी एस आई आर यू जि सी नेट जून टू थाउजेंड टोटी थ्री एबसट्रैक्ट एलजेब्रा प्रब्लेम कोश्चन आई डी सेभेन जिरो फोर जिरो एट फाइव सी दा कोश्चन फार्स्ट लेट जी ओन एंड जी टू बी टू ग्रुप एंड फाइव फ्रम जी ओन टू जी टू बी ए सबजेक्टिव ग्रुप होमोमर्फिजम दें हुई अफ दा फलोईंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर ट्रु इफ जी ओन इज सैक्लिक then g2 is cyclic if g1 is abelian then g2 is abelian if h is a subgroup of g1 then phi h is a subgroup of g2 if n is a normal subgroup of g1 then phi n is a normal subgroup of g2 see this is a very easy problem uh, basic abstract algebra question if we know the concept of cyclic group subgroup normal subgroup then easily and also group homomorphism then easily you can solve the problem <coughs> probably uh, you can solve this problem by yourself only again we are discussing this so see first uh, the first option says that if g1 is cyclic then g2 is cyclic very easy to prove this uh, say we are given that g1 is cyclic then g1 is generated by some element say a because g1 is cyclic now we have to prove that g2 is cyclic and this is very easy to show that this g2 will be generated by phi a we now prove this so for this let us take any element b belongs to g2 now uh, since phi is subjective on 2 so there exist some element say b1 belongs to g1 such that this phi b1 equal to b and the, since this b1 belongs to g and g1 and g1 is generated by a so this b1 is some power of a say a to the power k now just calculate this b equal to phi b1 equal to phi a to the power k and since phi is a group homomorphism it will be phi a whole to the power k so we have taken an arbitrary element b belongs to g2 and find that this b can be expressed as power of phi a so g2 is generated by this phi a and phi a belongs to g2 so g2 is cyclic so this is very easy to prove so one is true and if g1 is abelian then g2 is abelian this is also very easy to prove uh, for this take two element say x y belongs to g2 and we will show that x y equal to y x so since phi is subjective there exist x1 y1 belongs to g1 such that phi x1 equal to x and phi y1 equal to y so start from xy xy is equal to phi x1 composition of phi y1 since phi is a group homomorphism this will be equal to phi x1 y1 and since we are given g1 is abelian and x1 y2 x1 y1 are members of g1 so this will commute so this will be phi y1 x1 and also using phi is a group homomorphism we will have phi y1 phi x1 and phi y1 is our y phi x1 is our x so xy equal to yx and we have taken xy arbitrary elements from g2 so g2 is abelian so if g1 is abelian then g2 is abelian option 2 is true now if h is a subgroup of g1 then phi h is a subgroup of g2 this is also easy to prove uh, take uh, to prove uh, phi h is a subgroup we have to prove this uh, take two elements say uh, x y belongs to phi h and we will show that we will show that x y inverse belongs to phi h then phi h will be a subgroup of g2 so now 
phi is surjective uh, well actually we don't need phi is, phi is surjective because we have taken xy belongs to phi is so xy must be of the form x equal to some phi x1 and y equal to some phi y1 so now this calculate this x y inverse this x y inverse equal, equal to phi x1 composition phi y1 whole inverse and since phi is a group homomorphism this is very easy result uh, that phi y1 inverse equal to phi y1 whole inverse now using uh, phi is a group homomorphism we have phi x1 y1 inverse and now this x1 y1 x1 y1 belongs to h because we have taken x y belongs to phi h so x will be of the form phi x1 for some x1 belongs to h and also since y belongs to phi h y is of the form phi y1 for some y1 belongs to h and also we are given that h is a subgroup so this implies that x1 y1 inverse belongs to h since h is a subgroup so now clearly this belongs to phi h as x1 y1 inverse belongs to h so phi x1 y1 inverse belongs to phi h so we have taken two arbitrary elements x y belongs to phi h and we have proved that x y inverse belongs to phi h so phi h is a subgroup of g2 so option 3 is also correct option now look at option 4 if n is a normal subgroup of g1 then we have to prove that phi n is a normal subgroup of g2 so let us try to prove this option also like others so take two elements from phi n uh, first see the definition to prove that normal subgroup uh, if we uh, if we have to prove that h is a normal subgroup of g then what we have to prove we have to prove that for arbitrary x belongs to g and for arbitrary h belongs to h we have to prove that x h x inverse belongs to h so this is the definition and also if and only theorem to prove h is a normal subgroup of g so here our subgroup is phi n and the group is g2 so Take, to arbit take, take an arbitrary element, say x belongs to g2, x belongs to g2 and take an arbitrary element, say phi h belongs to phi n. Since this element are from phi n, so we can take uh, in this form phi h for some h belongs to n. So now we have to prove what? We have taken x belongs to g2 and phi h belongs to phi n. So we have to prove x phi h x inverse belongs to phi n. Then we can conclude that phi n will be a normal subgroup of uh, g2. So now see here. Uh, phi is our surjective map so there exists some x1 like the other uh, statements such that phi x1 equal to x now calculate these things x phi h x inverse so this x phi h x inverse equal to our phi x1 phi h phi x whole inverse and also using phi is a group homomorphism so this phi x whole inverse will be phi x inverse so this is phi x1 phi h phi x inverse again using phi is a group homomorphism we have phi x1 h x1 h x1 inverse so now we are given that n is normal subgroup of g1 and this 
x1 belongs to g1 and h belongs to n so since n is normal in g we have x1 h x1 inverse belongs to n because n is normal subgroup of g1 so now this phi of these things x1 h x1 inverse will belong to phi n so we have started from this x phi h x inverse we have taken arbitrary x belongs to g2 and arbitrary phi h belongs to phi n and we have x phi h x inverse belongs to phi n so phi n is a normal subgroup of g2 so option 4 is also true so in this question option 1 2 3 4 all are correct option this is a very easy abstract algebra problem uh, okay we will meet in the next video thanks for watching